you encapsulate the season? Yeah, it's a tough one. Um, some good, some bad. You know, there's been some, uh, you know, there's some positives, but there's also some, you know, negative stuff that we are uh, negative, but some stuff that you're going to have to evaluate. That's for uh, days coming ahead. That's all I got for you, Rick. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. You're easy we'll on next. <laughs> we'll go next to Alex Pinkoff, Cuddies.com. Rick, just, just looking at tonight, I mean, you know, I know, I know it's not ideal. This was the last game of the season, but, but was it nice to go out kind of fun, dramatic way like that overtime winner? Yeah. It's, uh, you love to win, but you know, it's, you know, it's, I don't know if that's great hockey. I mean, I shouldn't say great hockey. A lot of, it was kind of a river hockey. That's summer hockey out there. So if you, you know, probably good for the fans, but not coaches, but uh, yeah, it's good to win. It wasn't the greatest defensive effort from both teams, but uh, it was, uh, you know, it's an overtime win for us. Uh, just one follow-up for me. I, I kind of asked you about this a couple games ago, but, you know, no group of players is ever the same. Uh, is there anything extra where you kind of stop for a moment, um, just knowing guys may go elsewhere or, or, or guys may not sign again, just knowing that this group is here, just kind of, you know, uh, going through it for one more time? Yeah, I, I guess, you know, that's uh, when you're in this hockey business, you know, year to year, uh, whether it's a couple of guys, whether it's six or seven guys, whether it's coaches or stuff, things things change a lot. Um, and that's just part of the beast we live in. So you try to, you know, the lesson learned is just you know, try to enjoy every moment with the people and, and, and you try to, you know, climb that mountain together. Uh, when things don't work out, there is changes, right? Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, the guys, it's a tight group there, uh, these guys, you know, so it's going to be, you know, I'm sure some guys are going to, miss some guys and or, or whatever some people in the organization so we'll see it like i said this will we'll see what happens here in the next week or two thanks rick i appreciate yep. it thank you go next to jose romero arizona republic talk with uh with yannick uh with two goals in two games with what he showed in those two games can can two games say a lot or enough about the potential of a young guy well he's gonna need some work i mean you know he needs to you know he needs to play a lot of reps you know um down in Tucson, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, it's not about scoring goals. It's just about overall game, but you know, he's a guy that's got some really some characteristics that you want an NHL player. So now he's got to hone his skill and, you know, he's got to play a, you know, a bunch of games and uh, get those reps to, to be at the NHL level. Thanks. Yeah. So last question to Michael Gutnick, Cronkite News. Oh my God. Hey Rick, um, Aiden Hill, career high 44 saves. Um, just what's your overall assessment of you know tonight, but then also just his season as a whole? Just battler. He's a big battler. I think if you ask, you know, players, trainers and stuff, the you know, one thing the attribute that uh, you love about Hill is a battler, you know, whether, you know, he lets a goal in or he doesn't, like he's just always battling, you know, and uh, that's something that, you know, you just, you just admire about people. Like, you know, things might not go your way for one period, but, you know, the next period that he's going to keep battling, battling. And uh, he did tonight for us, but that's just, uh, and he's been throwing some tough situations. You know, we had Kemps and Rance go down and they've been out for a long time, five, six weeks or seven weeks. And, you know, he didn't play a game. And then, you know, he's right away, all of a sudden he's in the number one position. And uh, I think he played 10 in a row. So, you know, we put him into some tough spots and he battled his butt off. And uh, you, you got to really give him a lot of credit for that talk uh, on behalf of all the media and all the PR stuff, PR staff. Thank you so much for all your help this season. You're awesome. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Rich. That's why, Rich, you're the best, buddy. Thanks. <laughs>